Good afternoon artists and welcome back to Super Happy Art Adventure Times. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a manga or anime cat. So the key to drawing manga animals or cats or dogs or lizards is still the big double highlight eyes. So with manga people and with manga animals the eyes are very large and they're very expressive and they dominate the face. So today we're going to learn how to draw a manga cat. And we're going to start today with just a regular pencil and eraser. And then we're going to use a little bit of colored pencils today too. So I made my manga cap blue and I used some purple colored pencil as well. I also have a marker here today so that way I can outline my cat when I'm done. Okay, here we go. Let me just get our positioning right. Ready, set, pencils up. Eraser is ready. Manga cat. So I'm starting with a circle about this size, kind of in the upper part of my paper. And then I'm going to make a slightly bigger circle for the body. Like that, right underneath it. Take your time. Okay. Make a race, erase, uh, erase if you need to to make adjustments. Remember, drawing is all about erasing as we go until we get things the way we like them. Okay, so two circles like that. Now I'm going to make a curve across the face like this. A curve, curved line. Okay, that's going to indicate where my eyes will go for me. All right, now it's time to add the ears. So I'm going to make two triangles on either side of the cat space. Okay, now I'm going to add the fluffy hair on top. So I'm going to kind of go like this. Like zigzag lines. Okay, kind of across the top. Oopsie, so this is why I have my eraser. Draw this pencil. Went a little too spiky there. And they've kind of come over the forehead as well. Spiky lines. So I'm just going to outline my work so you can really see it. Spikes like this. And then they kind of come down and across the forehead a bit. And then I have my ears that are like triangles on either side of the face. Okay. And now I'm going to add some fur on the sides of the face. You can see these kind of whisker furs coming down. So I'm going to come from the ear and I'm again doing sort of zigzaggy triangle like lines. Come from the other side, do the same thing. I'm doing one, two, and three. Like that. Now notice the bottom of the face kind of has a curve. Okay, it's sort of like swoop, swoops up and then down. Kind of like this that sort of shape. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to swoop up and then down. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing. I make a little triangle and then swoop up and down. Like that for the kitty's bottom of the face. Okay. Now it's time for me to put in the little nose. So I'm going to come here and I'm just going to make a little triangle. Color it in. Whiskers. And the eyes are very important, the manga eyes. So let's get a little closer for those. So we can really see what's happening. Okay. So I'm gonna come to my eye line right here. And I'm gonna make a swooping curve like this. Swoop, okay. Sort of like a backward C. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here, on the other side of the nose. I think it's helpful to put in the nose first so that way you can kind of see a little bit better where the eyes are supposed to go. Okay, now I'm going to put in the eyeball curved line like that. The same thing over here. Curve, curving line from the bottom of the C up to the top of the C. Now as we said in manga, the double highlight is very important. So I'm putting in a circle here 
in a circle there at the top of the eye. Okay. And then there's another circle for the highlight down near the bottom. Okay. And then everything else for the eyes, everywhere where I didn't put that double highlight, I'm going to color in nice and dark. Coloring it everywhere except for inside those two white circles that go inside the pupil. I'm leaving my two white circles. I wish I'd left this one a little bigger, but that's okay. Working on emphasizing that C shape for the eye. There we go. Manga eyes. I'm going to add a little line inside the ears. Shoop. Shoop. Maybe there's a little bit of fur inside the ears. Like that. Okay. All right. So that's the face. Okay. Now it's time to work on the body. So we've got this big, beautiful, fluffy part of the chest here on the manga cat. So that's what I'm going to start to put in next. So I'm going to just going to kind of curve out like this, okay, with a little, from this side of the cat, like a little fluffs, a few like zigzag fluffs, okay? And then what it's going to do is it's going to curve in and then back out on the chest like this, okay? And all of this is going to be nice fluffies, nice zigzags zigzags up the side. There we go. Okay, so this is the fluffy part of the cat's chest. I'm going to switch back to pencil just in case I make a mistake because we are going to do the legs. So from right here where this part of the chest meets, okay, kind of in the middle of the belly, I'm going to make a curved line coming down. Okay, curved line. And then from this side of the chest, Okay, I'm going to also curve, curve, and then come down like that. Okay, all right. Now from this line here, I'm going to do a few fluffies, zigzags, and then kind of curve in. Okay, now this is important. This is where I'm going to separate the legs. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make an upside down V. Chunk, chunk. There's that first leg. And here's the first paw, swoop around to meet it. And I'm gonna put in two claws. Chunk, chunk, curved lines like that. Okay, here's another paw, swoop. Okay, and I'm gonna put in the curling toe. There's that pot. Now this is the third leg. So what I'm going to do now, okay, is I'm going to make a swooping paw like this, okay, and it kind of blocks a bit of this leg here. Okay. And then I'm going to come up, curving up from this back paw, curving up and into the body. And all of this is some nice fluffies curving into the cat's body. And I'm going to put in my two toes, curves, right there. So we've got three legs. Now we need to do the fourth one, the fourth leg, and the tail. So from these fluffies here, I'm going to make a curve like that. Okay, curve. And then there's a paw, okay, that kind of goes like this, curve, see, kind of a curving downward shape, and then around like that, two claws, that's the foot, okay, and then this is all going to be bushy tail around in here, over, over on, right in this spot, this is all going to be some bushy tail action. 
over there. Okay, so I've got four legs and now I want to work on the back side of the cat over here. Okay, so cats kind of have it's like a diagonal line coming like this and then down, okay? That's sort of their back shape. Now this cat's looking kind of fat, so I might move this line in a bit. Maybe I went too diagonal, maybe I went out too far. Make my cat a little thinner, a little sleeker. Okay, on this side. Okay, so now time for the tail. So the tail is coming like this, swoop. And all of that's gonna be tail. But I want it to be a cool fluffy tail, so I'm gonna do my spikes, or my zigzags. And this curve here. There, fluffy tail. Okay, and now that I've drawn the cat, it's important to outline it. So I'm just gonna go over my pencil lines with marker because this is an anime drawing or a cartoon drawing, so it's important to outline our work. Claws, there we go. Outlining the fluffy marks that I've made. And I'm outlining the tail. And then I can also, and when I'm done outlining, erase my guidelines. I can erase all pencil marks. Bushy tail, spikies. So now I'm going to use my eraser and I'm going to erase out any guidelines that I had put in. I had a lot of them in the face. Okay, Erase them out. And now I can add color. So I'm going to do like a blue and purple cat, I think. And I'm going to try to create tonal gradation with my coloring. So I'm pushing hard kind of near the edges of my cat, and then as I move towards the center, I'm gonna get lighter. I wanna kind of create the effect of moving from light to dark. And my blue is breaking, so I'm gonna to switch to purple. Okay, color the kitty. Okay, maybe this section here, this fluffy, you could do a different color. What about green? Maybe that's some green fur. A very magical looking cat. Okay, with those big eyes, anime eyes. Okay. So take your time today coloring in your cat. Really try to show some shading on the cat. Okay, so you can see parts that are light fur and parts that are kind of dark fur, especially near the edges of that tail. Okay. And on the belly, the belly I pushed a little bit harder too to create some shadow there and inside the ears. There's a bit of shadow. I can't wait to see your manga cats and if you're interested in drawing more manga animals then I will create more videos for how to make manga dogs and lizards and parrots and cows and chickens and any animal that you request we can make a manga character. Oh and don't forget to name your cats. What are you gonna call this creature? Bye!